everyone and welcome to the Beauty Breakdown. My name is Morgan and this is Skincare Shorts where I talk to you guys about different skincare topics, share with you guys what you need to know when it comes to skincare in three minutes or less. So let's go ahead and get started. So in today's Skincare Short, I'm going to be discussing the difference between a BHA and an AHA. Now before we get to the differences, I am going to first cover the similarities between the two because believe it or not, they do share a lot of commonalities. So first and foremost, both of these are considered a chemical exfoliant and they both work on the skin's surface. And they offer a lot of benefits for the skin including they even out the skin's texture, they're great for roughness, they're great for anti-aging, they're good for uneven skin tones. So overall, they're really, really good and if you're not using one, you should look into using one in your skincare routine. AHA stands for alpha hydroxy acid and the most common ones you're going to see in skincare is going to be lactic acid and glycolic acid. Now the main difference with AHA is that it's water soluble. Now that's important because water solubility means it is good for those of us who have dry or damaged skin. So if you have skin that is sun damaged or you have skin that's overly dry, you want to use a water soluble ingredient because it doesn't remove the moisture content from your skin. If anything, it actually adds moisture back into your skin. Now BHA actually stands for beta hydroxy acid. And the most common form of BHA you're gonna see in skincare is actually salicylic acid. Now again, the main difference with BHA is that it's actually oil soluble. Oil solubility also means that it's really excellent for breaking up any type of oils in the skin. And we all know what excess oil in the skin causes, it's usually acne or blackheads or whiteheads. So that's why you'll see a lot of acne related products actually have BHAs in them because BHA breaks apart that oil, helps unclog the pores, and naturally BHA is actually anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. I will also go ahead and put what percentage in pH these are both effective in. I will go ahead and put them on the screen now at either side of my head. So enjoy. Hey, can I use both? You can absolutely use these, but I wouldn't recommend using them at the same time. What most people do is either alternate the day that they're using them or they use one at night and one during the daytime. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this new series called Skincare Shorts and learning the difference between a BHA and an AHA in case you were ever curious. Let me know in the comment section down below if there are other skincare topics you guys would like me to cover. I have a lot more content in this series specifically ready to go for you guys so be sure to subscribe if you guys want more of these also be sure to hit that notification bell um if you want to be notified when i upload or if you just want to spend a little bit more time with me during your week and as always i hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment subscribe share with your friends and family and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys